Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. Welcome to another tutorial. In this video, I want to talk about a bundle that I purchased off Humble Bundle recently that includes the Movavi Pickverse photo editing software. So I bought this bundle for, I think it was $34, not $39. And it included $410 worth of Movavi uh picture and video editors so the movavi pick first i'll show you what i've been doing with it uh which is to remove the background of a picture so this is the program movavi pick first okay and in this program what you can do is i'll open up a picture okay i'll open up a picture on my desktop movavi test and you can see that I'm standing uh, in front of a lot of stuff. Okay, I want to get rid of all of this stuff and turn it into a transparent background picture. So inside this Movavi Pickverse, what you can do is on the right hand side, you have a lot of tools, a lot of tools. And one of them is change background. So I'm going to click on that change background. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on auto select. And what auto select does is it pretty much already does 95% of the job for you. Okay. It's auto selected um, all the background stuff and gotten rid of it. Obviously it's selected some stuff that I don't want to get rid of. Okay. So what you can do is I'll introduce some of these tools. Object selection, draw on the area you want to keep. Okay, so you can see that um, this rope, this little bit, I want to keep. Okay, so I'm just going to use this object selection draw, and I'm going to draw on this little area here. Now, if it's not clear, you can also zoom in. You can also zoom in a little bit. Okay, so this bit has turned transparent. So I'm just going to draw on that so that I'm keeping it. Okay, and this little bit, I also have to keep it. So I'm going to make my brush size slightly smaller. And I'm just going to draw on this part here so it's keeping it. Okay, it's keeping that little bit. And then the same thing over here, I'm just going to draw on this line to keep that. But I don't want to keep this little bit, so I'm just going to zoom in even more. And I'm going to click on... Draw on the area you want to remove. So I want to remove this a little bit. All right, this little bit, let's remove that. Okay, so it removes all that. Okay, and then I'm going to zoom out again. And I'm going to remove all of this. Remove all of this. Remove all of this. Uh, probably get rid of all that. Okay. And the last thing you can use is what's called hairline selection. So if there is a very clear boundary you want to highlight. So for example, down here, there's, oh, so I'm just going to get rid of all that. Background. Um, down here, the black paints is part of the background so i'm just going to see if that can pick it up but otherwise you can go hairline selection and then you draw on the boundary and it'll hopefully recognize what is part of the boundary and make things around it transparent so draw on the hairline now that hasn't worked very well there so i'm just gonna remove the background Okay, so yeah, it's probably not applicable, but if I had some hair, I would use the hairline selection tool and I would draw around my hair around my hair. Okay, but it's it's done my hair already pretty well there. So I'm gonna use this remove background. So remove the stuff in between my legs. All right. So now I'm just going to go next step. 
All right, and it's done it pretty well there. This part I'm not too happy with, so I'm just going to go back. Oops. I'm going to go back one step. And I'm going to make this part slightly better. So that hairline tool scored me up over there. I probably, um, probably could have avoided that. Okay, so you can see this black bit's coming out. So I'm going to just use this, get rid of that little black bit. All right, so next step. Oh, well, let's just, let's just stick with that. Apply. Apply the new background. Make this slightly bigger. Oops. Oh, well, who cares? Apply. Now, if you don't want transparent, you can also put white, gray, or some other background, but I'm just going to click apply. Okay, there it is, all done. And then I can obviously save this somewhere. So file, save as, uh, browse, put it on my desktop somewhere. Oops, Movavi test two. Can call it that? Test two. And I'm just going to turn it into a PNG so that it can have a transparent background. Uh, transparent background with a PNG file. Okay, so there it is, transparent background. Okay, and if I put that in a PowerPoint or something, it'll have a transparent background and just uh, me in front of it. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.